Well, tell me what you'd like to do. We're being quiet, even though EJ's downstairs snapping, but I feel like... We don't want to wake him up. I don't know. It's just mental. Mm. Can he see you? I'm going to make sure we'll go in the... We'll, we'll get in the view if I need to. You nervous? We have two minutes till our appointment, but we'll see if he's running behind. I'm not nervous for what he's going to say because we kind of already had an idea based on the last time we spoke with him. I'm just more nervous because it means that we're actually going to start. Mm -hmm. Nervous about the process. Yeah, I just to put ourselves through that again. My grass looks green. You're welcome. <laughs> um, I feel like it came so fast. So, so fast. I just, I just pray that we make the right choices, like that everything. We can make any choice. I know, it but just it just depends I, on the outcome. That's why, and just I, mean, I pray that every choice that we make is what's going to give us the best chance at a baby. Mm-hmm. Got to pee again. I'm already pee twice. Is it weird to stand up? I was going to to bring your chair up, I'm like, no, I'll just raise my desk. Well, it's good to see you guys. Hi, Hi. yeah, good to see you. Um, I just looked back on your chart. Mm -hmm. I always like to do this with patients that I've known for a while. And our first appointment was May 9th, <laughs> 2018. Oh, man, I know. Yeah. How's that? I don't know how time's gone by so fast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, how's life for you guys? You're well? Yeah, we're doing good. We're, um, our son just turned two in March. Um, we moved into a new house, so <laughs> we're settled in now. Um, but yeah, just working and trying to raise our son. <laughs> good. Uh, and you're, it's, you're in a bigger space, a better house, that sort of thing? Yep, ready for more babies. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Well, tell me what you'd like to do. Uh, we've, I don't know, we've, we've had a few discussions. Um, I think um, we would like to do another retrieval. I know we have one embryo left. Um, I don't know. I think I'm just, I'm, I'm more me than, than my husband, Eric. Um, I'm just worried that it's, this transfer won't work and I'm getting older. And I don't know if... Um, if we wait on a retrieval later, like if my my if the egg quality will go down, and um, so I'm not sure, but I, I we're leaning towards a retrieval. Alrighty, um, let's see. So just to review, mm -hmm. um, we have making sure here. I always go back and double check these. But we have one euploid embryo, as you know, and then one that is inconclusive. Mm -hmm. And then we have one sperm specimen frozen. Yes. And um, how many children did you want? Um, at least one more. Uh -huh. At least one more. I would like a sibling for for our son, but. I don't think. At the start of this process, we were aiming for three, but as time went on, we kept we were happy with one, and now we just want one more, just to keep our son company. Sure, if got it. Know. Yeah. So, just in the interest of expense, I'll make a suggestion to you. 
I mean, I, I get what you're saying, Jessica, mm -hmm. out of a concern about the diminishing ovarian reserve and ovarian function. Um, we have two choices. We absolutely can just launch in and do another cycle. Um, or we can just do ovarian reserve testing, see what your AMH is now. Mm -hmm. uh, and if it comes back at like 3.5, I'm making this up a little bit, but last time we did it, it was 3.7. So if there's marginal change, mm -hmm. if you're still looking good in terms of egg quality and ovarian function, then we can have a more informed discussion about what would the time investment mean if we transferred the one genetically normal embryo and did get pregnant and then did an IVF cycle? Uh, and what would the likelihood of success be with that IVF cycle? Um, so question, so if we decided to do the transfer first, um, I know it all depends on what month we transfer, but if it didn't work, um, how quickly could we jump into a cycle? Because we do have IVF coverage now. Oh, then, yeah. Yeah, so, um, and we've already gotten an estimate, and I mean, it's pretty low for a, for a cycle, what it would be. I know it's just an estimate, but, um, so we would want to use, we would want to, want to do it within this year because it, it all depended on our, on our deductible. Um, and so that, that's been met. So that's why the, the uh, cost for doing another cycle now this year would be a lot lower. So if this so transfer, this yeah, so if this transfer didn't work, um, we would want to do the cycle. We can just do the cycle now. If you've got the benefit, mm -hmm. you've earned it, having more embryos in the bank will only give you more options in the future. So that if you got pregnant and wanted a third child and you had two or three embryos, that's great. You don't mm -hmm. have to do this again. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I was worried about the cost. Yeah. And I didn't want you to incur the expense if we had another option. But mm -hmm. since you have a benefit, you've earned the benefit, do it. Okay. Yeah, that's what we were thinking too. We have the benefits now, so we want to use them and better to use them while I'm younger. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, and then... Um, I know um, at our last appointment we discussed, I think you called it like a fresh frozen, that if we wanted to um, do that, that could be an option. Um, yep. Would, would it be better to do that? I, I just want, I, I don't know if you have um, like numbers or anything, but I just, I don't know what the success rate of that uh, protocol is. So um, we will do that sometimes. Uh, not very often. Mm -hmm. um, when we only have one embryo, um, what I would prefer doing is not transferring during this cycle, getting a sense of the quality of the embryos we might get from this stimulation. Mm -hmm. If the embryos from this stimulation and retrieval are of better quality than the one that's frozen, we would choose these. Okay. So, and and. We can, as you probably recall, we can do a transfer either in a natural menstrual cycle mm -hmm. or by giving you some estrogen tablets. Mm -hmm. um, my other, did you, because also we have a sperm, uh, semen frozen, one sample, right. but we did, um, he, my husband went to go get tested. Did that ever come back? So I looked through both of your charts and I don't see the report yet. Okay. Okay. Today must be the day for not getting outside labs because this is the third patient today, <laughs> uh, you guys, who mm -hmm. had labs done and mm -hmm. one patient's in Port Angeles, the other's in Ellensburg. Okay. Um, so, um, do you, did, they, did you get any verbal report or anything through my chart that you can uh, No. Well, um, Rebecca. Okay, yeah, they said they were gonna follow up on that because um, we, yeah, we had to do outside labs, so. Yeah. So, um, when did you want to do this? As soon as possible? Well, we were wanting to do a transfer maybe like in August or September. Yeah. We just, in case it doesn't work, we can, we can try maybe at least one more time before, before the weather gets really bad because we'd have to go over the pass. Yeah. Um, when do you expect your next cycle? Um, so I just, um, 
I'm like, I mean, when did I got it? Probably like um, June June 12th. So why don't we plan tentatively to start birth control pills? Then we would probably do the retrieval late June, early July. Okay. And then if you're not pregnant, do an FET in August, and if needed, September. Okay. What I want to see is uh, like a much, much lower uh, AMH level. No reason mm -hmm. to think that. Okay. Um, and then we can do that almost right away, like next week. Rebecca will be back next week. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, with, with that information, I'll do probably the same protocol we used last time. I will look it up <clears throat> uh, because your records are in two different charts here. Yeah. Um, just go on just to see if I can't find it. Um, I, don't, I won't waste your time. I can't. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm all for this. We'll just proceed. Okay, okay. Um, and then an, one, one more question, I think. Um, so, I think, if I remember correctly, um, before we started um, stemming, I... Do you think I need a hysteroscopy? I, I don't remember if we I had to have one. Yeah, you did. What we did necessary? last time was a, 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 called a, uh, an SIS. That's okay. just an ultrasound of your uterus. That's all we need to do. Okay, so we're just doing... Um, okay. So that's before I start stimming? Yeah, we can do all that now. Okay, okay. Question? My question is on the on the frozen sample that you guys have for me. Like, would you guys test that at before inserting it into the embryos, or how how does that work? So, um, a little bit based on the results of this semen analysis um, depends on what we see. We would mm -hmm. have you collect the specimen on the day of retrieval and then compare. So, we have a report about the quality of the sperm that's frozen. And if the collected specimen looks better, uh, we can use that. If not, we'll follow the other one, uh, the one that's frozen, and use that. Oh, okay. Um, what are the, is that like very, like not common at all to, to use already um, a frozen semen? Because this would be thought twice. I'm just worried about the quality of it. Yeah, we, we do it all the time. It, okay. It, it, the quality of it after one or two freeze thaws depends a little bit on starting stock, so to speak. Okay. Um, but basically, it's what we got, so it's what we use. Mm hmm Okay. I mean, you know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's worth a shot, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, no, I think that those were all the questions we had. You guys have the day off? I work from home, so I'm actually on my lunch, and then he, he doesn't work Fridays. Yeah, I get every Friday off. So. Oh, good for you, three-day weekend. Yes. Every, every weekend. Yes, it works. I get to watch the kid all day Friday. So we get to enjoy mm -hmm. some good father-son time. Good for you guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Okay, well, I'll get on this. Rebecca will reach out next week and we'll proceed. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, it's great uh -huh. to see you both. It's almost to the day, five years. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Ten a, days later. Good luck, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All Keep right. your fingers crossed. Away we go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Enjoy your weekend. You, you too. too. Bye. 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 Oh. <laughs> How do you feel? I'm Nervous. so glad he kind of didn't give us the option to do the fresh frozen because I think I would. It's just kind. Of, I don't know. If you wanted to do the fresh. No, no, because last time he he was okay with us doing it, and I, like this time he was like. But I, I think I think he thought we were paying out of pocket. Yes. So I think he was trying to save us money. Correct, and that's yeah. And, and that's so I think he, he's like, if there's if money really isn't as an option, like. Mm -hmm. Then that like. Makes a, sense. 
I mean, we're still paying some, right? But it's not like, like what nearly what we paid the first time. Oh my goodness. I, there's no way we would be able to do another cycle if we if didn't we have, didn't have the insurance. Yeah, no way. And that's a conversation Eric and I have had. Um, it's like the benefits are there. Like, use why them. not? Why not use them? Because if they're, you don't use them, they're gone. Like they're wasted benefits that somebody could have. And I don't know. So it's like I. It's kind of rare. People pray for this, right? It's so, yeah. It's so rare to get co uh, coverage. Coverage. And, and I've had two insurances through this company that has had it, and maybe it's just because the type of. Sorry, you're shaking the camera. Oh. Maybe it's just the type of work we do, so they have that as coverage. Yeah. And well, mm -hmm. when we had gotten pregnant, well, when she got pregnant, because I didn't. We got pregnant. <laughs> um, with DJ, I had just started at the company and we weren't married at the time, so it's like we couldn't use the benefits. Mm. And I didn't even know about the benefits until like a week later after we did the Everything. frozen embryo transfer. So, and I don't know, I just it kind of worked in our favor that mm -hmm. my new insurance still had it, and now we're, now able we're in to this use. position. And I just, I think it's, a, a, I don't know, it's like, it's, they're so rare and we are infertile and I just feel like God's, I don't know. And if we end up with a bunch of embryos, hopefully, maybe we'll see where we're at. Maybe we'll have 10 kids. I'm <laughs> just kidding, but. Start our own show? Yeah, we'll, we'll <laughs> go viral. But no, um, I think too, um, just because you end up with a lot of embryos doesn't guarantee babies, right? So. We could end up with, again, maybe five. I mean, and this is, I, I know well, the first time that was really, really well, good. But, we had six. Um, and so, anyway, I don't know where we were at. My camera um, died, but. I was I was just saying, like she mentioned, it doesn't matter. We have 10 yeah. embryos and end up with only one child from it. You know, we had six yeah, good ones. Yeah, we've obviously, like, experienced. We had six good ones, and mm -hmm. out of those five that we have transferred, We've only been pregnant once, so. Yeah. And so the the more normal, the higher chance of, of at least a, a, a one life birth. So I don't. That's why I told them I don't want you to change your protocol because I um, had responded really well to that. And so we'll keep it. He, I think he said the only reason he would even change it is if, um, like my testing showed, like it changed or something. I'm, then he would he would like tweak it or a little bit I'm sure but I don't expect it to be a lot different I mean I mean I know I'm older so I guess we'll see but I'm excited to start I just can't believe it's like so next week you'll start next week I just I'm a little concerned <laughs> yeah. though because I am tr like I start training but we have a lot like large um, lunch gaps and breaks so I think it'll it'll work out actually pretty good because I'll just try to schedule around those times. And then if there's like a, a one that I absolutely can't miss, that I, I can, um, like re re request a little bit of time, maybe if it overlaps. But I'm hoping that everything just ends up working out, and I'm not gonna stress about that until, until. You shouldn't stress. Yeah, no, I'm not. I named. I'm excited. I'm so excited because you have all the sick time you need. June though, like. Next know. month, yeah. I'm gonna start, and then he wants to do a late transfer. So, what if I do it before Eric? But you know what? I think I'm gonna tell him once we start if they can keep me on birth control a little bit longer that I don't want to have it until after August 4th or 6th. Yeah. We have a friend's wedding, one of my really well, good friends okay, is getting hold, married. Hold on. Time I thought we're not doing a fresh, no, but he okay. said we would we would start June. Um, do the retrieval probably and, and the you know what but I think I think he I, mean, I don't think he understood of all the stuff that we need to get done because he said we would do the retrieval we would start stimming but I have to get a SIS right mm -hmm. um, which I hate but last time it actually wasn't as bad um, so we'll do that and then I'll be on birth control and then I'll start stimming and then they'll do the retrieval, and then we do we do the retrieval, and yeah, then a the month way. later we transfer. Yeah. Because I would do the retrieval and then wait till my next period. See, but if I remember correctly, last time they made me wait one cycle, and then start at my next cycle. So I don't mm -hmm. I don't think he thought about that cycle. Well, he in said between. retrieval would be late oh, okay. July. 
The oh, transfer okay. won't probably be until September-ish. Oh, okay. Well, that's perfect because I've always said I don't want a winter baby. And so we transferred EJ in July. July and, 8th. And he's a March baby. And I've already mentioned it's nothing against winter babies. I just personally, like where we live, it gets really cold during the winter time. And... Um, I feel like I get the she get, she get the winter really blues, good, yeah. and so really if good. I had to deal with postpartum while like during the winter time, I, I feel I'm I'm worried I would actually get postpartum depression. So um, I don't want to do that to myself. So want a baby when it's warm out, so that I can, you know, you like won't be pregnant while it's warm. Uh, yeah, but I I want oh, okay, to no, give sorry. birth yeah. in a warm month. So that I can enjoy just even like just sun. Like sitting I love being outside. outside. I love sitting outside. I can breastfeed while I'm um, like nurse him, n nurse the baby, him, her. Like just sitting outside in our backyard and like that does so good, so much for my mood. So your mental um, health. Yeah, and so um, anyway, so that's the reason why I always say I don't want a winter baby. <sighs> But anyway, so we'll keep you guys updated. I have to go back, um, and like I said, I'm, I did this appointment during our, during my lunch hour, so I have like 10 more minutes. It's my lunch hour too, EJ's napping. It's <laughs> to relax, but we have an exciting um, evening plan. Maybe I'll pick up the camera um, and record a little busy, bit of busy that. Busy, busy month but, this month. Yeah, this month has been so busy for us, but anyway, so if um, I don't pick up the camera, um, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.